coming up on the end here, Jake. It's true, we are. You are about to hear or have currently heard the voice of Ned Goodwin, which we didn't know we were going to put into the game for a long, long time until we played it. Because originally it was like a note he left you. We went back and forth early on, too. There was a moment, I think, where we said maybe one of the last conversations you'll have is with Ned Goodwin himself, who's off in the woods. Maybe you'll pick up the radio in his tower. Talked ourselves off that pretty quick, and then, yeah, maybe he leaves you Maybe he leaves you a note, sort of a confessional yeah. note. But that, then we also sort of bounced off the note because you would find it, and it just didn't have the umph, and it didn't have the sort of cinematic nature of a conversation. And then we went, okay, well, is the response to that to, like, put Ned Goodwin in the scene? You're going to meet the guy? And, like, thought about that for a minute. And then we said, well, you're going to talk to him? And, like, what are you going to say to him? And then we actually found the middle ground, which was a recorded note, which is, like, really, was really great. It was, like, the thing that it never occurred to us because we had written notes and conversations. The idea of just essentially having an audio log uh, did not, like, jump out at us for a few weeks. And then it was like, oh, wait, you have a tape player. He's you left you recordings you of yourself before. It seemed, yeah, it seemed it like all, it all connected. And I'm really happy with where we landed with it. And also, Mac Brandt is the voice of Ned Goodwin. We had so many auditions, and this happens all the time. You get a lot of very similar auditions, people trying to play someone a certain way. And then Mac put a little bit of a, like, kind of an East Coast accent on it. And yeah, just I remember not being sure about it at first, but you and Chris pushed pushed for Mac, and I'm really glad that we did. Yeah, he was just a titan. He did this such is a, a, great job. a weird, goofy detail of just the sorts of things that you imagine in your head, but Goodwin leaving you this tape has meant that for me, my mental image of Ned Goodwin is that he has no one to talk to, but that like when he left the Shoshone, it was like with a backpack full of just tapes that he's recorded to himself, which obviously doesn't exist, and the game doesn't say that, but right. now like the existence of that tape just painted that strange character detail into my brain. Now that it's on his commentary, is definitely purely can canon. canon. 